So I was a medical student here and I saw that you get to work with the best, most skilled, talented surgeons in the world and they in turn train you to become the best. So from a clinical standpoint that was really, really appealing to me. But I also had this idea that I wanted to be a surgeon inventor. I've always had this entrepreneurial bent. And I knew that Stanford was really the only place that could also train me to do that. Um, Stanford has this really rich history of innovation um, in all fields, but particularly in surgery. And it has this very close relationship with Silicon Valley. And during my professional development year, I've definitely found that to be true, that um, I've gotten so many opportunities to pursue entrepreneurship that I wouldn't have gotten at any other program. The Plastic Surgery Technology Innovation Fellowship is a year-long program uh, for any uh, professional development plastic surgery residents who want to work with Dr. Jeff Gertner in the Division of Plastic Surgery. And really, he teaches you how to take an innovation from bench to bedside, which is exactly wanted, what I wanted to do and how I wanted to spend my year. So how I spend my time is really developing partnerships and collaborations with industry partners who want to take their device and, or their therapeutic and um, get it through the FDA regulatory process. So it's a lot of designing clinical trials. But it's also taking um, innovations that have already been approved for the market and coming up with new indications, new ways to use them. And so what I found is that it's really this very interesting process that you don't really get to uh, get a view into during your, your residency and in, during your clinical training. And it's, but it's really challenging in its own right, uh, but super fascinating and intellectually satisfying. I absolutely love it. My mentor, Dr. Gertner, was really supportive of me pursuing a variety of entrepreneurial activities and opportunities outside of the fellowship in the greater Stanford community. Um, and so uh, one of the things that I did that was really helpful was taking a course through UCSF and Stanford on FDA regulatory affairs. So it really taught me um, what is an IND, an IDE, an NDA, learning that vocabulary because you have to be really facile in that if you want to be a med tech innovator, I think it's pretty crucial. And then I also did the Stanford Ignite program. So that's an eight week entrepreneurial boot camp, and that's administered by the Graduate School of Business. And you work in teams of um, uh, you can have uh, doctors, engineers, lawyers, product developers who are within the Stanford community and even outside of that. We had people who were international as well. So I worked with a team of five people and we basically came up with a venture idea and we had a coach and basically took that idea and then we ended up uh, pitching it to Silicon Valley investors. So I got to see that process, which was super fascinating. And then through those opportunities, I've also gotten uh, the chance to connect with an early stage therapeutics company that I now advise. And that's been really interesting because you get to learn uh, you know, firsthand all of the growing pains of a startup, how to create a startup, what those challenges are, and how you as a surgeon can really contribute to that and how you definitely um, you know, ha d deserve and actually are such a contributor when you have a seat at the table in industry. There's been so many times where I've been working with an attending during a case and they'd say, you know, I wish that this device existed to solve X, Y, or Z problem. Um, but really the process for bringing an idea into commercial markets is pretty opaque to most plastic surgeons because you don't get any of that training during your residency unless you seek it out. And so I think this year has given me this framework, this understanding of the process of what it takes and how to get there. And I think that that's really valuable because surgeons and, and doctors in general are really essential to making sure that a product is really useful for patients. It's so important for patient care. So I'm really excited to bring all that I've learned back to my residency, back to my program, and really kind of collaborate with the, the surgeons who have all these amazing ideas and help them make it a reality. And then I think moving forward, um, I really aspire to be a plastic surgeon who connects these two interests. I love clinical plastic surgery, but also use that um, to inform how I work with industry and how I uh, continue to be a surgeon innovator.